There she is. It's past our meeting time, but Ji Hyun isn't here. You think something happened to her? Are you worried about her? Well, yeah, I'm worried. But something's off. Huh? And then there's you. What about me? I I just want to help you. <laughs> Maybe you're the one who's up to no good. <laughs> Tell me, why are you so nice to me? All right, deny it all you want, but your actions are definitely affecting something. I mean, sure. Well, this just might work in my favor anyway. Oh yeah? Well, I'm glad I'm being helpful at least. Don't be too nice to me. Listen, I think that I need to go search for some kind of clue. Let's stick together. Sounds like an idea. The new building is divided into the yellow, red, and blue. Oh, she actually explains a lot more. To open huh. each door, you need a key card that matches that section's code. The game really does expect you to follow her, huh? You're going to need to remember that. Because I just completely missed that. <laughs> that sure doesn't make me feel stupid. You okay? You, you okay? Did you find something? Well, for one, I found this. I think I can play the backmask tape. Yeah, you can at some point. So, I guess explore the rooms that I can in. Oh wait. This one's open. Sure. Let's take a break in here. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. I just fought a giant baby. I'm I'd like thirsty. a break. I'm tired. Well, apparently, there are several things that can solve that. Like say caffeine and drinks, and I have both. Wait. Huh? Hold up. How do I how do I give her a coffee? Did I not have one in my inventory? Oh, whoops. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to buy a coffee specifically for her. So, yeah, I had to reload cuz I'm a fuck up. Ah, here we go. Boom. One coffee for the lady. I hope. If I'm doing this right. Hello. Oh. Is that for me? It sure is. Here you go. Oh. Did you want some of it? Oh, that's that's cute though that she worries about me too. Okay, I guess we talk to her again. <sighs> Time to give her back her diary, like a good boy. Uh, I'd forgotten about this. Thank you for returning it. You're welcome. It means I didn't mention it earlier, but <laughs> come to think of it, I don't even know your name. This is overdue, but I'm so young huh? I'm Heeman Lee. It's nice to meet you. You should introduce yourself quickly, mm -hmm. huh? You too. Is it like impolite to be the first one or I think I've rested long enough. Let's move on. Okay, if you say so. But move on to where though? Here's the school's history room. So it is. They say they built this to celebrate the proud history of the school. What proud history? <laughs> it's full of ghosts here. I think that the chairman built this to somehow mask the school's terrifying past. I think there's a key card there. Let's go in. Yeah, sure.
Oh dear. Did that happen last time? With the shattering glass and everything? That was scary. <laughs> I think you smell good? <laughs> Not the appropriate time if there ever is one such. You okay? Are you hurt? Mm-hmm. I'm alright. Let's use that key card to open the second floor hallway door. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. I told you about the new building's key card, right? You have. I just quickly need to see if there's like a document here or something. I really, really hate the sounds of shattering glass in this. gives me the impression that something's supposed to happen and it just isn't happening <laughs> it's incredibly uncomfortable all right then let's swipe away i wonder if anything changes now that she's with me in this building or if she like hides while all this is going on you know yeah, shit it's this door okay I don't see him yet, but I guess ah, there are the keys I need. Take a look up there. Is that a key? I think it's the key to the roof. How can you see that from there? I think that it would be better if we split up for now. You go ahead and oh okay. Check out the rooms that open with that key card. Probably a good idea. Please be careful. And distract the janitor for me, won't you? So I don't have to worry about that. And only you get to deal with someone beating you over the head with a bat all the time. That sounds fair, right? There he is. Speak of the fucking devil. Alright, here we go. About to get the yin yang token. It only took forever to get up here. Hi! There you are. That's a good question. Bring you- Hey, I didn't do anything like that. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Calm down. Do not tell me to calm down! Oh, jeez. Just stay back! I mean, I understand why she's reacting like this, of course, but- I'm scared. I'm so scared. Yeah, of course you are. Everyone's acting strange. Soyoung lied to me and said she never called. And she keeps looking for her dead sister. Oh. Oh, that must be the hung, the hanging ghost. And I keep seeing these impossible, creepy things. It's all because of this place. This car school is making all this happen. You know something, don't you? I don't know. Jesus, easy. Oh, this is a lot less pleasant than my other meetings with her. Man! I don't want her to be this freaked out by me. Again, I get it, but... Man, that sucks! Alright, fine. I'll take the... Oh, hello. I'll take this too. Yoink. Okay. Now I gotta... Oh right, I gotta fuck with the security alarm before I do anything else. Oh boy. Where did Mr. Janitor go? Fire! That's the voice of that girl. Ah, here he is, blue keycard guy. Who are you? Why are you here this late? Who are you? I'm the night duty teacher. So you are. Look, I don't know why you're here. But here's the keycard. That leads outside. Just get the fuck out of my face, in other words. <laughs> it's dangerous here at night. Night... It's when the dead ones come to life. <laughs> so they straight up admit that this school is haunted as fuck. 
Then why don't you leave here with me? Why are you telling me this? I just hope you don't make the same mistake I made. Get out of here before it's too late. Or you'll get trapped in this school forever too. Wait, are you trapped here forever or are you talking about ghosts? <laughs> I love that he doesn't even open the door. <laughs> Just walks into it. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't find any clues. And I think we're completely stuck here. Oh, is that so? What made you think then? Did my sister get stuck too? Do you know the reason I'm here? Well, it's for my sister. Finally some explanations. You've heard the rumors about me. How I had a sister. Was she the one in one of the early ghost stories I found who killed herself? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Two years ago, at the school. That's terrible. There had to have been a reason, but no one ever bothered to find out. <laughs> Why did she kill herself? You- she just told you- whatever. That's apparently what I'm supposed to say. I'm not really sure, but I think it involves her friend. I used to hear her yelling in her room at night. When I eavesdropped, it sounded like she was talking on the phone. <gasps> How scandalous. A teenager talking on her my phone. sister died. I wanted to find out who those calls were with. I feel so bad for her. She must have had some kind of reason. Yeah, that's but terrible. No one, no one should go through that. Never talked about this with anyone before now. Well, that might not have helped you. Let's go now. Where? Oh, hi! Shit! What the f- We just ran through the water barrier place! What?! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, was that just her running away? Okay, whatever. I just need to get the fuck out of Dodge. Oh, thank fuck. Finally. This puzzle is the worst. It takes so long. Even when you know what you're doing, it takes a forever. God, it's annoying. All right. Got that. Fucking... Wait, did that printer in here start? What the hell? Okay, I need Mr. Janitor to leave so I can check out the print. I'm doing the clock puzzle at the moment, by the way. The key is still on the floor out there because this asshole has just not been moving at all. Okay, this is extremely upsetting, actually. Stop. Will you please fuck off? So I can get up and try to figure out what the hell all this... What the hell is happening? Are you... Where's that noise coming from? Did 
you print something? I have not had that happen before. That's crazy. Wow, that was like really upsetting. Anyway, uh, the clock here. It was 2 p.m. in Greenwich. So that makes this 10. Yes. Wow, that was... There's not even a ghost in here, but that was like actually scary. Really, really upsetting. <laughs> Man, fuck that. That sucked. Oh, boy. Oh, he's close, but it doesn't matter. Pop this fucker in. And then we'll get to the fight with... I believe that's the knife woman. Oh, yeah, here she is. Nobody ever escapes. Did you say this last time? I don't recall. Well, time to fuck these guys up. I must get in. I'm begging. My daughter's in there. Let go of me. No, no. That scene is confusing because they're like not really doing anything to her in that moment, just preventing her from getting in, which I get would upset her, but. I genuinely don't understand how much of a ghost she is, or if the ghost just helped, or... I don't know, I'm trying to find context for all of that myself. Oh, jeez. Normally when a woman asks me to call them mama, this is not what I have in mind. Alright. Get the fuck up here. <laughs> I love that I can hear her cackling from far away like... <laughs> yeah, could you give me a moment? I just gotta activate your migraines or whatever the fuck it is I do. Okay, quick time event if I recall. So let's be ready. Nope, please don't. There we go. Man, I sure am lucky you're right there in that second, huh? Yeah, that, that, that's still really upsetting. I will always protect you. Gah. That's such a fucked up sight. Hey, what's going on? I heard something fall. <laughs> I love how casual she is until she sees it. The, the woman is. She tried to kill me. I'm glad you're not hurt. Thank goodness. We don't have time for this. We don't? I heard a scream coming from the lecture hall. I think it was so young. I'll go look for Ji Hyun. You go ahead. Except, now that there are no janitors to worry about, I'm gonna go scrounging for items. Once I've saved, because holy fuck. I saw- Oh, hello! Here's a new one. I saw a hidden safe when I went to the chairman's office. The password was in numbers, symbols, and pictures. I've seen something like that before somewhere in the school. Anyway, judging by the fact that he has a safe, the chairman is also keeping a few secrets himself. Let's talk this over on Monday in school. Ah, yeah. Okay, so this time I think I can do this. Let's see. There's the preserved spider. And... Do I need all the weights? No. I just need them to be equal. So... Aha! Here we go! Oh! Okay, that floating head ghost can suck it. 
God, that's annoying. The kid in the corner. I, I apparently, apparently all the ghosts I wanted to see are only available on hard. So maybe I'll make another video where I see all the ghosts that I haven't seen so far. But man, I don't want to deal with the janitors on hard. Oh, well. Well, here we go. So he had always been terrified of bugs ever since he was young. She especially found spiders the most repulsive of all. Her school, Y High School, was an old building that was built at the base of a mountain. So naturally there were lots of bugs and spiders. She was always very stressed because of this. Yeah, no shit if she's phobic. Um, that's why she was so happy to begin her senior year. Unlike the first two years of high school, her classrooms this year were located in the new building. Since it's new, she expected there would be no bugs and that she would be able to attend her classes carefree. On the first day, there was a strange girl in her class. This girl gave her the creeps because her long hair covered most of her face. So he could not recall ever seeing her at the school before. The weird girl's face was so unfamiliar that it made her doubt if she was really a student at her school. She always sat in a corner, away from others, and hardly ever moved. She wouldn't even get up during the breaks to, or lunchtime. For some reason, so he couldn't help but be bothered by her. One hot summer day, unable to concentrate on class, so he snuck a glance at the weird girl. What she saw completely shocked her. The girl was chewing on a moth. Startled, so he turned to look at the bug-eating girl again, but this time she saw nothing out of the ordinary. So he thought she must have been seeing things because of the blazing hot day. Then the girl sensed so he a knowing smirk. It creeped her out so much that she became terrified of her. After that, the creepy girl stopped coming to school. So he was bothered by her sudden disappearance at first, but as time passed on, oh, but as time passed in peace, she forgot about her. One day while on her way home, so he realized that she left something at school, so she went back to get it. Just moments before, the school was filled with the sounds of the students leaving, but now it was as quiet as the grave. So he entered the classroom and turned on the light. There was nothing but empty desks and chairs inside, just as it should be. So he went to her desk to retrieve what she had forgot, but she spotted something black swaying in the back of the classroom out of the corner of her eye. So he squinted her eyes, taking a closer look at what was hanging. When she realized what she was looking at, she froze in terror. As she slowly raised her eyes, she could follow the long curtain of black hair up to the body of the creepy girl who had disappeared. The girl was clinging to the ceiling, her limbs twisted at inhuman angles. She looked like a spider perched in its web, preparing to pounce on its prey. Spotting Sohee, the spider girl scuttled quickly across the ceiling to watch the petrified Sohee. The girl's long black hair shot out like a spider web, wrapping around Sohee and pulling her up. The lights flickered twice, then the classroom went dark. One long, terrified scream echoed through the halls before it was abruptly cut off. No one's ever seen Sohee again after that day. The spider that used to hang in the corner of the classroom was missing too. So, okay, I know this is high school and these stories just spread. But if she went there alone and didn't survive, like, how did this story come about? <laughs> well, whatever. It might have been, uh, it might have been something the occult club is writing down and spreading around. <laughs> Who knows, man. But that does explain that ghost that kept showing up whenever I was doing the light puzzle. As annoying as it is. And there we go. Pin puzzle solved. Even if I can't find the ghost, I can at least read the stories, but whatever. Tragedy brought by jealousy. And Ju and Young Hee were best friends. Being friends since childhood, they had no secrets between them. They spent so much time together that they could almost read each other's mind. When they entered high school, Yeonju developed a crush on a guy a year older than her. Yeonju would always prattle on and on about him to Young Hee. Strangely, Young Hee's reaction to her close friend's biggest interest in life was rather icy. She would only wish her a curt good luck, then be silent until a new subject arose. One day, Yeonju heard from another friend that the guy she liked had feelings for Young Hee instead. It turns out that Young Hee and the boy went to the same church. Yeonju wondered why Yeonju had never mentioned that. It was weird. From that point on, Yeonju was suspicious of every single thing Yeonju said or did. Soon they grew so far apart that they wouldn't even say hello to each other. Oh my god. Wow, yeah, that's all it takes, huh? Just... <laughs> Sometime after, Yeonju found Yeonju and the boy sitting on a bench, innocently talking. Envy filled her eyes. That evening, Yeonju called Yeonju up to the school rooftop. They began to argue, but Yeonju kept on denying Yeonju's accusations. The arguing got louder and more heated, and out of anger, Yunju pushed Yunghee off the rooftop. Yunghee fell down head first and died instantly with a sound. 
Yeah, I've seen that happen to a grown woman a couple times now. Yeonju gave a false statement to the police, and Yong Hee's death was reported as a suicide in game. I mean, I'm not joking about real events. After some time passed, Yeonju was able to go with her crush, to go out with her crush. One day, she made plans with her boyfriend to go on a date at school. They thought it would be a great idea to meet up in the middle of the night. That way, they could stay out of the heat. What? And it seemed adventurous. I guess it must have been a summer night or something. Yeonju arrived at the school first and was waiting in the empty classroom. When her boyfriend didn't show up after the promised time, she began to get scared. Suddenly, thunk, thunk, thunk. She heard something echoing from the hallway. Then she could hear a door opening. Not here. It wasn't her boyfriend's voice. It was the raspy voice of a woman that sent shivers down her spine. Thunk, thunk, thunk. The noise was getting louder and closer until it was shaking the ground with every thunk. Yunji heard another door open. Not here either. Yeah, this is what it's like hiding from the janitor. Thunk, 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 thunk. The thunking was getting closer to her now. Terrified, Yunju dove under the teacher's desk to hide. She was quaking in fear. The door to the classroom flew open. Yunju peeked at the door through a crack under the desk. There was nothing to be seen. Just when Yunju thought something must be wrong, an object, an object fell from the desk, and Yunju's eyes flew up to see what knocked it down. There you are! Yunju screamed so loud that her voice echoed throughout the whole school. Ugh. Well, that's upsetting. So I guess the point of the game is kind of to, well, when you're playing on hard anyway, to kind of just stumble into these ghosts and then learn about them later. Or alternatively, if you're playing on normal, read about all these, replay it on hard, and then be like, oh, that's what that was. Still though, I wish more of them, I wish like half of them were available on normal. <laughs> Cause, uh, oh well. Okay, so interestingly, with the spirit bell, I guess to deter that ghost that made it an endless hallway, I can now go back and get a lot of other stuff. Now that I have a bunch of items, so I'm gonna do that. Again, I probably can't run into any of the ghosts, but I'm at least gonna see what other mysteries the game has in store for me. So, here we go. Oh, hello, I didn't see this last time. There's a drawing of a crying angel. Well, at least of a wing. And some crying eyes. Okay, so remember way back in the workshop, we have this thing. Apparently I'm supposed to do some key fiddling. Let's see here. Combine yellow and red. Yeah, I'm following a guide, as you know, if you're watching these videos. So open the box for counseling classroom. For counseling at classroom 2-2 to get more, to get Morse code chalk. Interesting, okay. Box for counseling, does it mean this one? It sure does. Morse code chart. Huh. Fucking, okay, how? There's no way in hell that a key made that kind of noise. You've got to be fucking me. Suppose he went back downstairs. 
Which is a problem, because I need to get to the workshop again. This is the weirdest machine. I've never heard of something like this. But okay, apparently I need this now. Small key dark. Cool. Yeah, this is uh... Those keys were well hidden, by the way. I wonder how anyone is supposed to like figure this out on their own. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What's in here? Ooh. A new ghost story. The Wailing from the Art Room. Seol Hyun had a crush on the new art teacher at Y High School. The art teacher was young and talented, and Xiu Hun was, wasn't the only girl who fell for him. Desperate to become his favorite student, she gave, her it all, bah, she gave her all in her art class. She had always been gifted with her hands since she was a child, and soon she did become star pupil. Seeing Xiu Hun's talent, the art teacher advised her to apply for an art college. Xiu Hun accepted his advice and began to take private lessons with him. This was a dream come true for her, to be left alone in school with her crush, spending hours together on practicing art. At some point, a strange rumor started circulating through the school. The rumor was that there was a teacher dating a student. The rumor made its way into the ear of the school administration, and soon the young art teacher left without warning, as if he was banished from the school. The rumor was never fully confirmed. In the middle of the night, with her favorite teacher gone, Xiao Hun sat alone in the art room. The faint moonlight through the window rested on her shaking shoulders. She was crying mournfully in her hands. She held an unfinished clay doll of a woman. Great care had been taken in forming the clay doll's face, and it looked just like Xiao Hyun. With her eyes full of resentment, she stared at the doll. The next day, the whole school was in shock. The body of a dead female student had been found. It was revealed that the girl had killed herself by overdosing on sleeping pills. Even more shocking, however, was that the dead girl was found to be pregnant. Oh shit, well, that certainly clears up a lot about the baby. The school tried to prevent students from spreading unconfirmed rumors about this accident, but soon the whole school knew, and there was all sorts of theories about the girl and who the father was. A lot of people pointed their finger at the art teacher, but it was never confirmed. After the incident, people began to report that they could hear babies cry near the art room. At first, the crying was so faint that people merely thought they were hearing things, but as time went on, it became so loud that the vibrations felt like an earthquake. Yeah, they did! A baby's ghost with its umbilical cord wrapped tightly around its neck was also reported as appearing. Gross. Even to this day, they say you can see a baby's ghost in search of something during shadowy moonlit nights. It is imperative you must remember not to follow it. For should you find what the baby wants, it might drag you down into the deep darkness instead. That sounds like approximately what happened to me, yeah? Dark and blue. Thank you. Paper crane. Heck yeah, I wonder what those are for. Some other puzzle I haven't found. Alright, let's real quick put all those math things on here. There we go, something fell down. Where? There it is. Ghost story! An incorrectly solved math problem. Na Xie, a junior year student at Y High School, was a top student. Smart and outgoing, she was especially adored by her homeroom teacher. Perhaps that was why she was always full of herself. When the teacher wasn't around, she would act snotty and as if she was better than everyone else in the class. None of her classmates liked her. Everyone avoided her, but Na Hye could not care less. What does it matter what they say or think about me? They're all losers, Na Hye thought to herself. Na Hye was prideful and had a large ego. You don't say. Then one cool autumn day, the subject for fifth period was math, the subject that the homeroom teacher taught. It was right after lunch, and with the cool breeze coming in from the new window, most students were nodding off during the lesson. To wake the class up, the irritated teacher called a few students to the board to solve some math problems. Na Xie was one of the students who was called up. One by one, the students returned to their seats after solving their problem. Since the problems were easy, no one got them wrong. Except Na Xie. She had read the question wrong and incorrectly solved the problem. This was unheard of considering her skill in math. In front of the whole class, the teacher rebuked Na Hye, saying that it was a stupid mistake. The teacher intended for Na Hye to remember the embarrassment and never make the same mistake again. Na Hye could not lift her head out of shame. 
Her face turned bright red. The kids could not stop snickering. The fact that the teacher's pet was being scolded right in front of them was fun and satisfying. When the teacher left at the end of the lesson, all the kids started talking about what had just happened to Nahye. They sounded excited that they finally had something to hold over her. Nahye was angry. She blamed the teacher who embarrassed her in front of the class. She hated her classmates who took it as an opportunity to talk behind her back even more. And she was angry at herself for getting the stupid question wrong. Even when she went home after school, she could not get it out of her mind. She hated her eyes for reading the question wrong. It's not my fault, she decided. She rationalized to herself that the problem was not hers, but her eyes. Soon, a terrible sound was heard, and the workbook on her desk was splattered with red. The next day, Nashe's classmates trembled with fear when it was announced that Nashe had committed suicide by digging her own eyes out with a knife. After this happened, a rumor spread that whenever a math problem is left on the chalkboard, Nashe's ghost is summoned. It is said that the ghost would stare at the problem on the chalkboard, but her eye sockets would be empty holes. Oh my. What a story. <laughs> Seems like a minor overreaction to getting a math problem wrong, but hey, who am I to judge? Yeah.